a movie about Groot, voiced by Liam Neeson. I'm surprised this movie is underperforming. How is that not cool? A Monster Calls, directed by J.A. Boyer and uh, written by Pat... Trick Ness, the author of the original book that this movie was based on, and tells the story of a boy with who loves his mother deeply, although she is uh, sadly sick, and uh, and his father who's uh, uh, left them, and and now lives with his grandmother who's uh, really hard on him, and he has to make matters worse. He's getting uh, bullied by this uh, by this uh, dick at his school, so to uh, get away from it all, he uh, imagines a. Uh, a monster uh, to uh, help him uh, uh, get through life, basically. So yeah, not the happiest of stories, but uh, the book uh, was uh, really depressing and thought-provoking as well. Uh, but I cannot believe uh, this movie is uh, a really a, a bombing commercially. So far, the film has only made 37 million on a budget of 43 million. After seeing the movie for myself, it's really it's a real shame that the movie is uh, just um, that, that just nobody's seeing it. Because after seeing it, I can gladly say, how does shit like Twilight and Fifty Shades of Grey make 500 million or even 700 million at the box office when? Whereas this uh, is is not being seen by anybody because this movie is great. It is a wonderful adaptation of the book and it helps that uh, they got Patrick Ness, the author of the book, to actually write the screenplay very respectively uh, so uh, uh, he will know how to do it. But also uh, J.A. Boyer, he, he honours the book. He clearly loved this story and wanted to... Uh, uh, bring it to the big screen the best way he can, and that's what he did. I, I really like a monster cause, and I, and uh, I'm. Let me explain why this movie is uh, is great and and deserves to be seen. It deserves your money for first of all, the uh, uh, kid in the movie. I, I felt so sorry for this uh, yo know, kid. I mean. Uh, his his he had a great sweet relationship with his mother played by Felicity Jones and uh, and and she was great as the mother. Uh, well, Felicity Jones is a great actress anyway, but uh, the the fact that she was uh, sick was just so sad because she hadn't done anything wrong. She didn't deserve this. Um, and and as well as the kid had his uh, strict grandmother played by Sigourney Weaver always uh, uh, on his back. He, even though the grandmother does love him, she just uh, doesn't show it as often. And his dad was was away most of the time, and um, and he was being bullied on at at school by this um, douchebag. Oh my gosh, it the many of this kid's scenes were just heart wrenching to watch for for uh, anybody. I mean, you really wanted him to strive through life and succeed. You wanted things to turn out better for him, and. Uh, I, I can relate to this because we've all had times in life where where we where we feel that uh, uh, that uh, things uh, haven't been going well for us and boy that's not nice. Props to all the actors in this movie. My gosh, that kid, one wow, of the best child actors in a long time. I'm so glad we're getting more great child actors nowadays. And Felicity Jones, Sigourney Weaver. Uh, and uh, Liam Neeson, all are uh, all superb. So yes, yeah, stupendous cast. And the monster of the movie, the tree monster, voiced excellently by Liam Neeson. Oh my gosh, uh, Liam Neeson was awesome at voicing Aslan in the Narnia movies, and uh, here is a uh, no exception. Uh, he I mean, uh, the, I love the design of the monster. I know people are saying he looks like a group from Guardians of the Galaxy, but uh, I also would say he looks a bit like Treebeard from Lord of the Rings, but they were careful not to make him a rip-off of, of uh, those uh, characters. They were careful to make him his own original design, uh, and which it paid off. The visuals on the monster look uh, freaking uh, cool, and uh, I believed he was there every time. Uh, that looked like a real tree rather than CGI. And um, the monster was basically helping this kid to basically uh, uh, not just feel better, but to also accept life and still uh, be happy. He was uh, the kid's uh, conscience. Uh, uh, 
of that, he turned to for advice and told him uh, stories that uh, that would uh, uh, help him uh, succeed. And um, not just the look of the monster, but the movie itself looked beautiful. The cinematography was uh, expertly shot. It just looks like a great, uh, authentic uh, looking film. Not only are the film's visuals and uh, cinematography and look beautifully done, but the soundtrack was beautiful and and ominous and uh, so uh, haunting as well. It's uh, really fit the dark uh, tone of the movie. Uh, this might be a fantasy film, but it's dark fantasy. If you're planning to take your kids to see this, this is not really a kid's film. It's really a family film. It's it's for everyone. It's, uh, it does have scenes that will really be upsetting for very young children, but, uh, but if you go and see it as a whole family, I think you, you should be all right. But that's what I applaud about this film, it's uh, it's not afraid to uh, teach kids as such a brave uh, message, and, and everyone a brave message, in fact, that uh, it's about accepting, uh, sometimes accepting life uh, the way it is, and sometimes bad things are going to happen, and we and we can't do anything about it, but uh, we, we can still find happiness through it, but uh, that does lead me to my minor nitpick with the film, as much as I really like a monster calls, one thing happened that really uh, uh, took away this movie from being a five star masterpiece for me. I mean, just uh, the the film's uh, uh, message, I think, was a bit too negative. Um, I mean, I I mean, it's don't get me wrong. Like I said, it's an ambitious message. I and, and it's a very brave one. I could see what it was trying to do, but uh, we all. Uh, uh, strive uh, to uh, to solve our problems in life and uh, be happy and not just uh, accept uh, them all and um, well some things we do have to accept but the things we don't have to we can make it better we can put it right so, uh, just just like I think uh, Raymond Briggs the English author his writing is ambitious how he teaches children about themes of death but uh, he doesn't uh, explain how to move on uh, from uh, the loss of a loved one and cherish who you have got so which he really should and that's what the message of this movie really felt like uh, so uh, had uh, the, the movie's uh, ending been a bit more positive and the kid uh, did uh, uh, solve his problems through great efforts and uh, and uh, move, moved on uh, uh, while accepting a, a life the way it is that would have been a better message for me uh, and the movie would have been a masterpiece if it had done that but Despite that, guys, I really thoroughly enjoyed A Monster Calls, and I cannot see why this movie is underperforming. It, please go and see it. It deserves your money, and I hope it gets many Academy Award nominations. I give A Monster Calls four and a half stars out of five. So yeah, after my rant on Assassin's Creed, I promise you guys a more positive review, and this was it. Well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. What do you think of A Monster Calls? Please comment and let me know if you like this video and subscribe. Be fun, says that Amazon Google Plus, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.